Hello fellow Rosarians. Thank you for joining me again today. This is our fourth unboxing. Uh, in our previous videos, which I'll link down below, we reviewed bare rote deliveries that were grade one and two. This unboxing is going to be really exciting because I'm sharing with you band roses. Uh, if we want to think about what a band rose is, first let's talk about what your bare roots are. Uh, bare roots are one to two years old. Uh, what you buy in the nursery, um, your potted roses, those are going to be one to two years old. A band rose is a rose that is newly propagated, so it's a little baby. Uh, but don't be afraid of buying a band because once you put that in the ground, it's going to bloom that first year. It's going to be on an own root. It's going to be very vigorous. And in one year's time, it really should be indistinguishable from the roses that you bought in the nursery that are one to two years old. So why would you want to buy a bare root rose if you had the option of just buying the same thing at your local nursery? Of course, I want you to support your lo local nurseries. Very important. But on the same thread, I also want to support our small businesses and the growers that are passionate about their roses. They're ensuring that those roses are up to a certain standard, that they're healthy, and they're keeping alive this uh, love of historical roses. And so I'm going to link below one of my favorite YouTube videos, and it's from Fraser Farms, and he talks about um, a dying uh, art uh, with um, historical roses and it really inspired me like I needed any further in, uh, inspiration to buy but um, it really inspired me to start looking at our small growers to uh, make sure that I'm supporting them and I'm also adding to my garden these roses that could be really hard to find in the future. Let's talk about um, how do I plant um, it's simple, and I'm going to uh, have another video after this when I get these in the ground. But when you plant, you're going to dig the same size hole that you would for your standard one to two year old rose. Go ahead and dig that hole, and then you're going to take this little plastic pot that's about five inches deep, three by three, sit it in that hole, and then you're going to backfill that plastic pot in the ground. And then once you've got the rose and the pot in the ground, you've got this perfect little shape that you're going to lift out the pot with the rose in it. And you've got this perfect hole now for this um, tiny little rose. So then once you've got this perfect hole, go ahead and put your biotone in. You're going to lift out the root from its plastic container and now sit it in that hole and gently tamp it down and backfill it. That's how you're going to take care of it. Um, I asked if we should, um, if you've heard the term potting up, um, you can certainly do that if you have any concerns and you want to watch that rose for a while to see how it's doing. You're going to just take it and pot it up into a bigger rose and do incremental pot sizes and grow it up until you're comfortable putting it in the ground. Uh, but when I reached out to several different growers that have the bands, they said, you know, it's really up to you. If you're comfortable potting it up, do that. Otherwise, they can go right into the ground. As long as the ground isn't frozen, you can put them in any time of the year and they'll be fine. So taking care of um, a band rose is easy. Band is smaller. Um, it might be easier for you to get in the ground. Let's say you hate digging big holes. This is an ideal solution for you because very little digging. You can even use your hand trowel probably to get it in the ground. Um, but you're not going to have the problems that some people have with the rootstock. And if anything happens to a rose and it's damaged, a lot of times it will revert back to whatever that rootstock is. So because it's own root, it will never revert back to anything other than the rose that you initially intended. Um, they're also much stronger and hardier if it, if it has uh, freezing um, affecting the roots. It has the ability to regenerate its roots. Um, if it is cut back severely, um, it will withstand that also. So I highly recommend um, own root and then also bands um, so that you can add to your garden um, a lot of the more historic roses. So let's go ahead and now talk about uh, the grower that I am going to feature today. This is uh, Rogue Valley Rose and um, they're located in Oregon. 
Um, it's a small nursery and they have 1500 roses uh, on their site. Uh, when I ordered from their site, it's very easy to use. You can just, you know, click through your cart. And they, for those of you that like mystery roses, they also have a section where if you buy, I think it's greater than four bands, um, you get a mystery rose. You can add that to your cart. Um, if you buy eight bands, you get two mystery roses. By 12 bands, you get three mystery roses. So uh, that's exciting that you could get, you know, just a surprise and get to look at this uh, surprise rose and see how it grows in your garden. You can order any time of the year. And the other awesome thing about um, Rogue Valley roses, is let's say you have your eye on a rose and you say, ah, you know, I'm not ready to put it in the ground, but I'd really love to have it. You can order it and then have them hold it for a year for you babysit this rose until you're ready to put it in your garden. And that's just something that I've never seen on anybody else's site. So let's go ahead and get here into this, um, this box. I'm expecting two roses um, and I'll tell you about the roses once we get them unboxed and we look at them. Okay, so I'm opening this box here. And if you look in here, the two roses are in those little pots that I told you about. I hope you can see this. And they're taped into the box. They look really healthy. So if you remember the, um, the video that we did on how to grade a rose, um, I will link that down below also. I'm looking at these and it looks like, if you think about a grade one rose it's going to have three canes a grade two rose or one and a half will have two canes so this is a band rose one cane um, but it looks really healthy um, it's already got its leaves out here let me go ahead and zoom it in here i hope you can see it um, it's really nice leafed out okay Okay, now this one, um, and I don't have uh, the name on it, this one has one very small cane and one larger cane. But it looks very healthy here, but let's get in here. I'm gonna lift this out so that you guys can see it. Um, so it stays nice and rooted here. You might not be able to see it on the video, but I'm going to get a little bit closer so I can see roots down here, roots down here. So this is what you're going to expect on a, um, a band rose, um, just much smaller roots. Um, but let me go ahead and put it back in the pot here. Now, what I wanted to share with you about why I picked these roses these are our Paul Barden roses. And when I first heard about uh, Paul Barden, I was looking at Howes. I've also heard it called Who's. So maybe you want to comment be below and let me know phonetically how to say it. Um, but they were talking about um, this is one of the great uh, hybridizers from the U.S. And they stopped hybridizing a few years ago, but they sold their roses exclusively to Rogue Valley Roses. And so if you go to the Rogue Valley uh, Roses site, they have a link uh, for Paul Barden. And I've asked them for more information so that I can share that with you. And I haven't heard back, um, but I'd like to find out as much as I can about Paul Barden. And so what I'll tell you, I've got the printouts here, is I've picked Dominic Sunset, and I'm going to go ahead and put that picture up here. Uh, the bloom size is three inches. It's a hybrid tea, apricot color, um, very fragrant. And it says, um, peach with a deeper, clearer orange center, um, a geranium spice fragrance, which sounds interesting, and moderate blooming uh, through the season. And then the other rose that I got was called Oshun, and I'll have that picture for you also. It says Oshun is intoxicatingly fruity in fragrance, four inch cupped blooms, peachy orange color in clusters of three to five, 
Each bloom is packed with 60 to 80 pet petals. So to me, it looked like a beautiful, you know, David Austin roses. I like how full they are. So I hope that this was helpful for you to not only learn about a new hybridizer, Paul Barden, maybe you didn't know about them. Also Rogue Valley Roses. Thanks so much. I hope you'll like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.